Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a display driver failed to start in Windows 10 error, followed by a black screen. This should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Let's match to go back with device manager right above control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the display adapter section, so just double click on that. And then whatever display adapter is listed under here, you want to go right click on that and then select update driver. Select search automatically for updated driver software. Once that's done, I would suggest closing out of here and restarting your computer and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the writer sheet, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you can easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then just select the save option, so very straightforward. And once you've done that, we're ready to begin, and that's going to start by expanding the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Then you want to do the same thing for the system folder. So expand system. So once you've expanded the system, you want to expand current control set. So double click on that. Should be a control folder. Double click on that as well. And now, finally, there should be a graphics drivers folder, so go ahead and just left click on that. Now, on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the DWORD 32-bit value, left click on that. You want to name this TDR delay, exactly as it appears on my screen, so all one word, the T in TDR and the D in delay should be capital and no spaces at all in between any of this. Hit enter on your keyboard once you have it as it appears on my screen and now just double click on it. And in the value data field type the number 5 so delete the 0 type 5 and then base it should be hexadecimal. Left click on OK to save the change. Make sure it's numerical 5. Don't try and spell something out. Once you have that, you can close out of the registry editor. Would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully I should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.